Okay YouTube, the next part of the exhaust welding video, 321 stainless, 50 thou thick, welded with 347. I learned something after watching this video. Uh, you might, if you're into welding stainless, not getting the best results. Keep watching, we'll see how we go. Purge gas going in here, purge is important with stainless, so the back will hopefully look similar to the top of the weld. We're going to weld along this seam. First of all, we're going to make sure we've got enough tacks on it, and uh, that's going to be speed tacking, and I'll show you that now. So how do we tack thin stainless like this? Get comfortable. Prop your torch on your pinky, or on your fingers there. It's not going to get too hot. It's going to be very instantaneous, this. And uh, using my pinky there as a prop, we're going to touch. We're going to rock the torch back a few thousandths, literally, and we're going to tap the pedal with the machine set so that I get an instant burst of about double what I'd normally weld with. So for, on this 50 thou stainless, that's 80 to 100 amps. Let's watch that. Okay, touching, rocking back, boom. Quick as that. Fill in some gaps here. Touching, rocking back, boom. All right, and that's the result you should get. I think you see one there that didn't quite fuse. Don't ever go back to them or be tempted to heat them for longer if they don't fuse, just leave them. Um, you'll end up with a hole. If you spend more than a fraction of a second at 100 amps on this stainless, you're gonna have a big hole and a disaster. So that's that. Right, now I'm gonna turn down my amps to a shade over 50, and I'm gonna set this switch to remote down. So my foot pedal is now gonna work in its conventional sense in that as I increase the pedal, I'll get more amps, but I'm basically just gonna floor it for a start so I can get moving. Right, to reduce to a certain extent heat buildup and distortion, I'm gonna back step. So I'm gonna go a bit there, bit there, bit there, bit there, so I'm welding the opposite direction to what I'm actually traveling in, if it makes any sense. All right, the main thing I'm gonna do here is floor that pedal and get moving. Um, welding on stainless, if you imagine the heat spreading out in front of that torch and away from that tip arc, you don't wanna let that heat get in front of you, you wanna move at least as fast as it, otherwise you can end up with a gray festering mess. Right, I'm going to get really comfortable. I'm leaning on the bench, I've got my foot on the foot pedal, I've taken a dry run, I'm going to get my feed hand comfortable so I can feed there. Light up, I've floored that pedal and I'm dabbing and moving in pretty quick time. This, I would have liked just a fraction more heat in this, but I think for my next run, because the part will have warmed up a little bit, we're going to be fine. So now I'm going to back up, as soon as the argon's finished on that one, I'm going to back up and hopefully there's a little bit of warmth in the part now, I'll get going just a little bit quicker on this one with the same amperage, floor the pedal and move, I think that was better, right, and dip, and now I'm just going to get let you listen to the sound of the filler going in. Hoping you can hear a little click each time the rod contacts the puddle. You hear it better on this one, and that's quite a good sign. Right, so the last one, floor the pedal, dip and move within a second. All right, that one got a tiny bit hotter than I would have liked. I may have slowed down a little bit. The key to welding stainless cold is to have enough amps to weld fast. And you'll notice on this one, because it's on the edge, I started off with slightly less than full pedal, just to make sure I didn't burn the edge away. It took me a little longer to get going, and the result is actually a slightly hotter weld 
with less amps. It's a weird thing, heat input up to a certain limit, uh, less amps equals more heat input because you can't get the puddle moving fast enough to outrun the heat. So I got a little bit hot on that last one, I got a little bit hung up. All right, we're done, and there's a shot of the inside. Now you can see on that last couple of inches towards the end, I got a little bit slow. That's because I was just hung up a little bit at the start and it's penetrated slightly more than I would have liked. I would have also liked a slightly better purge, but you can't have everything. All right, and there's the outside. It is not perfect, but it's not a gray festering mess. We've got colors. Um, we managed to keep the distortion pretty much to a minimum. It's good enough. I always want my welds to be neater. I try and make every one better than the last, as they say on weld.com. Um, this will do adequate. Thanks for watching. Good night.